Hello there and welcome back to Adicraft. On today's episode in the Undersea Build series we're going to be looking at this giant crab design. So don't go anywhere and let's get on with the video. So let's look at the block palette. We've got the smooth red sandstone. We've got the smooth sandstone stairs. We've got some chiseled sandstone, which you can replace with regular if you if you wish. Um, we've also then got sandstone stairs, slabs and walls. And then this is quite important. We've got nether brick fence and we've got dark oak fence. And then we've got some acacia fences as well. And then for the claws, we've got some prismarine, but again, you can replace this if you don't have access to prismarine. So that's dark prismarine stairs and slabs. We've got some ladders. And last of all, we've got a couple of sea pickles. So in terms of this build, the front will be six blocks and then the length of the crab will be uh, eight blocks. Now this is because the crab's claws stick out a bit in front. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the back and then at the very back block, one block in, we're going to place two fences and we're going to be placing another two fences in this pattern, leaving one gap. Now these are the dark oak fences. The reason that we're using these here is that um, they will connect up to each other. So we're then going to go up an extra block with these and we're going to come in on the corner here. Next, we're going to switch to the nether brick fences and we're going to go up to the, the reason that we're using the nether brick fences is they don't actually connect to your uh, uh, regular fences. And they're the one Minecraft block that doesn't um, in terms of fence blocks. We're then going to place two red uh, sandstone here and then further red sandstone on each of these sides. We're going to come around the back and place some upside down stairs at the back and then we're going to create a bit of a face, the first level of a face here by adding two chiseled blocks and then with our walls we're going to come out either side and come forward one for putting another sandstone block there and that now this is where we get to uh, build up slightly with the claws what we're going to do here is we need to place the claws so they're actually facing this way and then we also need them to be facing down so what we'll probably need to do is block out a couple of blocks come back inside and then we can place these to give us the bottom the, the top bit of the claw and repeat that on both sides just with temporary blocks so that we've got something to place against and the last thing to do for the claws is to, the pincers rather, is to put the bits in at the bottom. Um, and then we're just going to take two fences and that is the first layer of our crab done. To finish off the crab with the top of its shell, what we're going to do firstly is we're going to fill in some blocks. So from the front legs, we're going to fill in four blocks, then just the two blocks behind it with the smooth sandstone. Then we're going to take some smooth sandstone stairs and place them upside down on the furthest of the blocks, placing the chiseled sandstone in between. And then we're going to start surrounding this with uh, the rest of the shell. So bottom stairs, so regular stairs, we're going to start placing these in and around the shell itself. As you connect these up, they will then form a pattern around here and finally when you do that you get the finished look and then we're going to take some sandstone slabs again at the back place them here we're going to place two in the middle blocks take that one out because that shouldn't be there uh, and then the final final touches are a couple of sea pickles and then a couple of ladders on the front and there we've got your finished crab. So looking at this crab with the default textures on, it looks great. 
Um, I've also built another one next to it just showing that you can mix up the block palette if you want. Um, with this one, um, this won't work if you have an underwater one, but obviously if you put this on a beach, then you can put some end rods if you prefer to give a bit of light onto the top of that. Um, but otherwise just use the sea pickles underneath the water. Finally, looking at this crab underwater with the shaders on, you can see that it looks brilliant from all sides um, and the local fish life seems to love it as well. So this would look brilliant in any underwater base or any aquarium. Uh, with that, I'd like to say thank you for watching the video. Please do make sure that you do like, leave a like and leave a comment if there's any other underwater creatures that you'd like to see in future episodes. Um, please do also follow me on Twitter, which is at adcraft. And that being said, thank you very much for watching and catch you next time.